What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see by the title, we have a slightly different video today. I actually came up with this video idea a long time ago and I haven't gotten around to doing it until today. So I'm really, really excited. So for today's video, I'm gonna be DIYing slash putting together four different outfits inspired by celebrities. Now these outfits are very much like designer and expensive. And I thought, why not try and DIY them and see if I can get them to look somewhat similar. I just thought this would be a really Really fun challenge and I haven't done anything DIY in a long time on this channel so I hope you guys enjoy. So the four outfits you'll be seeing in this video are these ones right here. So we have two outfits by Kylie Jenner. We have an outfit by Ariana Grande which is so freaking cute and then we also have the very out there outfit by Billie Eilish. She's wearing like this really cool Louis Vuitton jogger set and honestly I think that is literally such a cool outfit so I decided to DIY it. I just want to put it out there. This video idea was actually kind of born from me wanting to do the item turned myself into Billie Eilish for a week video. As you guys know, I have a little series on my channel where I turn into different celebrities for a week. I've done like Gigi Hadid, Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, Ariana Grande. I've done a load of them already and I really wanted to do Billie Eilish because she has such a cool sense of style. But then I saw somewhere on the internet that she actually said herself that she doesn't really like people dressing like her and going out in public because not only is it dangerous, but also it's like, kind of weird if you think about it. Cause some people can really look a lot like her when they actually do this challenge. And especially with like the really out there sense of style, I feel like a lot of people could be confused that it's actually her. So I hope you guys don't mind me not doing that video. I really wanted to do it, but out of respect for her, I'm not gonna do it. And instead I'm just gonna show you guys how to create the outfit and I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys are brand new here and you haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, then let me know what other outfits slash celebrities you'd like me to recreate the outfits of. But anyways, without further rambling, let's get on into the video. Okay, so for the first outfit, I'm gonna be creating the Billie Eilish DIY Louis Vuitton jogger suit. This is kind of a challenge, I'm not gonna lie. I really thought about so many different ways as to how I could create this. I thought maybe I could freehand it, but then I was like, no, because that is literally a disaster waiting to happen. So instead, I went with the idea of actually creating my own stencils out of cardboard and then getting spray paint and then basically just spray painting the logos onto the fabric. So here is how you make the stencil. So basically, I just got some printouts from the internet. I printed out each symbol of the Louis Vuitton kind of like logo on a separate piece of A4 paper. I then got myself the cardboard and the knife and I was ready to basically just freehand and cut into this sort of like logo design. This does take quite some time, I'm not gonna lie, so you really have to be patient and really take your time because of course the longer you take the more effort you put in and it's just gonna turn out a lot better if you get me. So once all of my stencils were cut out it was then time to basically observe the photo of Billy's outfit and pretty much try and replicate the same sort of layout of the logos on the actual jogger set. So I started off with the sort of like spiky clover kind of symbol. I don't even know how to describe this, but basically I just did that one right at the top in the center and then another one halfway down the hoodie and then one right at the bottom. I tried to spray paint them in the same colors as her outfit so that it would look a little bit more believable and like I didn't just DIY this. Once I did those three in the center, I was then able to kind of like map out where the other ones are gonna go. So I then moved on to the LV. I actually decided to only use one of the LV logos on the hoodie to kind of give it like a feature. I spray painted that one in red and it came out a little bit fuzzy, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I pressed down on the stencil a little bit more so that it would be like really nice and sharp. That was definitely a big learning curve when it came to spray painting on these stencils. I really have never done this sort of thing before so I didn't really know how to go about it. But as I went on, I got a lot better and I feel like the symbols got a lot sharper towards the end. I then proceeded to do the exact same thing for the joggers, I used the same stencils which was really handy, I didn't have to get any more. And I basically just tried to look as close as possible on her joggers and try to recreate the same sort of style and pattern. I've gotta say though, the trousers were more difficult than the hoodie because I couldn't really see that well in the photo where the sort of symbols were positioned. So I basically just did my own thing, I just freestyled it and it turned out pretty good. So once all of the symbols were on the jogger set, it was then time to do the sort of like raining drip 
kind of effect, uh, like splattered sort of paint. I had no clue how I was gonna do this. I thought maybe I can like marker it on with some colored markers, but then I thought maybe the color won't match. So I just decided to basically get two long bits of cardboard, literally place them like this right next to each other, leaving a tiny thin gap and then spray painting down it. And to be honest, I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that one because I felt like a right genius. Now this wasn't perfect by any means. I don't know how I could have done this to make it look a little bit more neater. This was the only way that was like quick enough and wouldn't send me into a mental breakdown. But I feel like Billy's outfit isn't really that perfect anyway. So I felt like I could get away with things being a little bit rough around the edges. I then basically just used all the different colors that I used for the symbols and I kind of went in random lines all across the whole jogger set. And to be honest, it doesn't look that bad in my opinion. It probably looks bad. So once the jogger set was done, it was then time to do the hat. Now the bucket hat, I needed to make smaller stencils for because these big ones were just way too big for the hat. This took a long time to be honest, especially because everything is really small and all the details were like really hard to cut. I really thought that this was gonna be the easiest part of the whole outfit and let me just say, I was very wrong. This hat literally took so freaking long. Like, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. Like the hat was so flimsy. The stencil wasn't like getting, do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't flat enough against the hat. So if I was to spray the stencil and it was like all wrinkled, like the fabric was wrinkled, it just wouldn't have got like a clean stencil. I literally had to use my palette, like cheeky little plug, but this saved my life today, like actually. I used this palette to put it inside the hat, make a flat surface, put the stencil on, and then spray it with only two hands. Like, I don't even know how I did that. After I took off the stencil, as you can probably see, it was a disaster, it was a mess. It was just not a cute look. Like everything was so blurry, all the edges were fuzzy. It just looked like a mess, so I kind of just gave up at this point, but then I remembered that I have white spirit. Literally, the savior of all. This takes me back to when I was like studying art at uni and college, and I used to use this all the time because I always had oil paint or like spray paint all over my hands, and it's the only thing that would take that kind of paint off, so basically I decided to use a bit of tissue. I didn't actually film this, but I used a bit of tissue with some white spirit and I kind of just like went around the edges to remove any of like the fuzzy sort of areas where it kind of spilled over the stencil. It doesn't look great, but it looks a lot better than what it did. So I guess it's now time for the grand reveal. Let's go try on the Louis Vuitton outfit. Okay guys, so this is the finished outfit and oh my God, I actually kind of like it. I'm a little bit on the fence about like, how good the make of it is because obviously I made it myself. I feel like it looks very similar to hers in terms of like the detail and all of the like drip marks, but there is definitely a lot of imperfections as well. Like some of the paint was just like, you know, coming off and like just making a mess, but I really like it. The only thing I don't like is the hat. The hat looks freaking terrible. I mean, look at this. Like, look how smeared it is. It's just so bad. I feel like I did a way better job in terms of the trousers because I actually kind of got the hang of doing the stencils and like, it just looks a lot sharper and just a lot neater in general. But I really like this outfit. I feel like I did a good job, but let me know what you guys think. isn't actually a DIY, but I found a load of really similar items to this outfit that Ariana Grande was wearing. I literally recreated this whole outfit just from like ASOS and Pretty Little Thing, which is actually mental. So the first item I found that's pretty much exact is the top. This is literally such a staple piece in my wardrobe. I love tops like this, they're so easy to wear. This was literally like four or five pounds on ASOS, so it's so inexpensive. So Ariana was also wearing a skirt, but I couldn't really tell what sort of fabric it was made from. It kind of looked a little bit like pleathery. So I decided to go for this faux leather skirt in a very similar shade to what she was wearing. I I think this is such a cute skirt. Now this skirt was 20 pounds on ASOS. It's from the brand Tradivarius, Tradivarius. I don't usually wear skirts, but I really like this and I feel like it completes the outfit. Now over both of these, she was wearing like a really long plaid kind of boyfriend t-shirt. I absolutely love how loosely it fits her. I think it looks really cozy, but stylish at the same time. So I managed to find this one here and I feel like it's very similar to the one she was wearing. This is actually a men's shirt. It was 25 pounds 
pounds on ASOS and I actually got it in the large because I really wanted to have that oversized long kind of look. And then for the shoes, she's wearing these really nice thigh high nude boots. So I got these from Pretty Little Thing and they look pretty much identical to hers. I mean, look how freaking beautiful they are. They also have like this really nice golden buckle. Now lastly, she's wearing a Fendi bag. I've got to say, I was searching far and wide for a bag like this and I couldn't find one anywhere. But then I came across this one on Pretty Little Thing. And even though it's not that close, I feel like it has the same sort of vibe. It's got like a logo pattern that's like repeated and the colors are very similar as well. So I feel like it's gonna work well. I am so excited. I managed to actually recreate that outfit because I've seen it so much on the internet. And now I managed to actually recreate it for a lot less. So let's go try it on. All right guys, so this is how the whole outfit looks all put together. And I've got to say, it looks very, very similar to Ariana Grande's outfit. I feel like the only thing that's different really is the shirt. It's kind of slightly different because of the pattern. I feel like the plaid was a little bit bigger on her shirt, but it's still very similar. And then obviously the other thing is the bag. This is a really nice dupe for the Fendi bag. It has a very similar sort of pattern to it, but it's a fraction of the price. And I feel like the whole outfit in general just has that same Ariana Grande vibe to it. You can definitely tell I'm channeling my inner Ari and the shoes are just genius. I absolutely love them. Look how cool they are. So now for the next outfit, I am gonna be recreating this photo right here. Now this is a really awesome vintage Chanel shirt that Kylie is wearing in the photo. It's kind of like velour and it's got all the little like Chanel logos all over it, which I think is so cute. Now this shirt was very expensive to say the least. I actually couldn't even find it anywhere online where I could actually purchase it. I feel like it's a pretty rare shirt because it is vintage, I think. So basically, I decided to recreate my own because I really like the look of it. Now the shirt that I used is basically just a regular cotton shirt. Now I couldn't find a velour shirt anywhere, but I feel like the color is very similar, so we're gonna go with it. So again, for this DIY, I made the same stencil, but with the Chanel logo in the same way that I did the Louis Vuitton logo. I then just looked at the photo of Kylie and kind of just tried to gauge how the logos are placed on her shirt and basically just tried to recreate that. My first attempt wasn't that good. I kind of sprayed it and then it sort of moved, which made the edges fuzzy again. And I didn't spray enough layers, so it wasn't as vibrant of a white as I would have liked it to be. I guess this one is pretty boring to watch. I mean, I basically just did the same thing over and over again, just placing the logo in like a crisscross sort of manner. They kind of all face outwards in different directions. Like one face is like right and then the other face is left and it kind of just switches between them. Okay guys, so here is the finished result. I am actually pretty pleased with how this turned out. I mean, there's a couple of imperfections like some of the paint bleeding out outside the stencil, but from afar, I feel like you couldn't actually tell. So now that I feel like I've successfully completed this DIY, Chanel shirt, let's go try it on. Okay guys, so this is the finished shirt and I've gotta say, it hasn't actually turned out as bad as I thought it would. It's a little bit long, so I kinda had to like tuck it into my skirt to make it look a little bit more like Kylie's, but overall, I'm really happy with it. I have noticed that maybe I should have placed the logos in a slightly different way because I feel like Kylie has some like cut off Chanel logos right in the center here, but I felt like that was just gonna be way too difficult, so I didn't actually do that. I only made this shirt for like less than 20 pounds, so that's really awesome. I also paired the shirt with the black skirt just like she did in her outfit, and this is the complete look. And now the very last outfit I'm gonna recreate for you guys is this one right here from Kylie. Now this outfit is so freaking beautiful. It's very like, effortless, cozy, and minimal, which I absolutely love. Not to mention that it's nude, which I also love. Basically in this outfit, Kylie is actually wearing a dress from a high street brand called Cos. That dress is now sold out, which is so sad because I would have totally bought it, but I decided to try and recreate it. So the first item that I picked out from a Pretty Little Thing is actually the bottom part of my dress. So this is just a long ribbed skirt. I love anything ripped, so this is like perfect, and the bottom of that dress was also ripped, so this is like the perfect match. And then the top part of the dress is basically just a really chunky kind of textured turtleneck, so I decided to pick up this one, also from Pretty Little Thing. So this is a waffle textured turtleneck, which I feel like is close enough. I honestly couldn't find anything that was similar material to the original dress. So Kylie did accessorize a little bit in this outfit. She had a little like belt bag 
bag around her waist. So I decided to grab this one off a of pretty little thing as well. I've never actually owned a belt bag like this, but I can tell they're like really useful. So I'm really excited. And then for her shoes, she went for a weird pairing, to be honest. I don't think I ever would have gone for a pairing like that with that kind of outfit, but she went for a pair of trekking shoes and I actually kind of like it. I think it's like two different worlds collide and personally that's a little bit out of my comfort zone but I actually really like the pairing so I got these from Pretty Little Thing as well. So that is everything for that outfit. Let's go try it on and see how it all looks together. All right guys, so this is the last outfit and oh my God, now that I've put it all together, I actually feel like it looks so similar to Kylie's one. The only thing that's different is really the bag. Like everything else, I actually can't believe I've managed to make her dress out of a skirt and a separate jumper. Like that's so cool. I actually tucked it into my bra because I felt like if I tucked it into the dress, it would make all kinds of lumps and bumps, which we don't want. But I feel like I managed to tuck it in pretty well. And overall, I'm obsessed with this outfit. The shoes are so comfortable as well. I'm definitely gonna keep this outfit. I really, really like it. And you guys are definitely gonna see it on my Instagram very soon. So that is everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It took me so freaking long to film. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Make sure you guys give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you guys are brand new here and you haven't seen my face before, make sure you guys stick around and subscribe down below. Let me know which one of these outfits was your favorite. And also let me know how I did with the DIY ones. I personally don't think I would ever wear the Louis Vuitton outfit out, but maybe the Chanel shirt. That's not that bad. Anyways, that is all from me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.